Hello and welcome to the Dan Edwards Show. I am, of course, Dan Edwards. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look back at the action from this past weekend here at House of Pain Wrestling, and we're going to be kicking things off with Renef from Friday, the 30th of August. The show kicked off with tag team action as Big Man Inc.'s Jackie T teamed up with the newcomer, the last true hooligan, Ruddy, to take on the team of Joseph Starr and the Heat, L.J. Heron. In a back and forth hard hitting match, it saw the team of Joe Starr and LJ Heron picking up the win. Renneth's own Cody Woods came to the ring next to say that last month he made one mistake and that allowed Grayson Clay to pick up the win and he's here to challenge him to a rematch and promises he won't be making the same mistake again. Grayson accepted the challenge and we had ourselves a match. Kobe put up one hell of a fight and came so close to beating the former heavyweight champion, but it was Grayson Clay hitting a low blow behind the referee's back, which allowed him to pick up the win. It was more singles action next as Max Chimera went one-on-one with Alex Rue and this match saw Alex picking up the win. After the match though, the main spectacle Tristan Wheeler came out to the ring and attacked Alex and then demanded that Joey Cement give him a shot at the House of Pain heavyweight championship seeing as Tristan beat Joey fair and square last month in Renneff. Joey didn't need to hear any more and never want to back down from a challenge, came out to ringside, but he was attacked by the Black Sheeps, Johnny Sharp and Will Roberts. The badly dressed boys were on hand to save Joey, and the badly dressed boys announced that their tag team main event match with the Black Sheep will now be a six man tag with Joey joining the badly dressed boys and Tristan joining the Black Sheep. After the interval, it was Mr. USA Lance Flashman going one on one with Nate Ajax. Nate took one hell of a beating from Flashman, but it appears that Flashman got a bit too cocky and Nate managed to roll him up in a small package to steal the victory. In the main event of the evening, it was the six-man tag team match as the Black Sheep's Johnny Sharp and Will Roberts teamed up with Tristan Wheeler to take on the badly dressed boys of Davey Thompson and Brandon Brooks and their partner, the House of Pain heavyweight champion, Joey Slade. During the match, Jackie T returned to ringside and tripped Brandon from the outside, which meant that Davey Thompson went after Jackie T and they fought into the backstage area leaving Brandon and Joey in a three-on-two situation. Joey accidentally collided with the referee Neil and this allowed Johnny Sharp to bring his crook into the ring where he wiped out Brandon Brooks and then was going to attack Joey but the guest timekeeper for the night, Jaden Law, attacked Johnny Sharp from behind until Johnny kicked him in his bad ankle. Joey managed to take out Johnny but this is when Grayson Clay came out to ringside, hit Joey in the head with the heavyweight championship belt which allowed Tristan Wheeler to pin the heavyweight champion 
for the second month in a row. After the show, it was announced that due to Jaden Law getting physically involved in the match, as per the rules that were laid down previously with him not being allowed any physical interaction while he is injured, Styx has suspended Jaden Law and told him not to come to any of the shows until he is fully healed and told him to definitely not turn up to St. Anne's the following night. Moving on to St. Anne's now on Saturday the 31st of August, the show kicked off with a tag team match where it was Broforce of Mr. USA Lance Flashman and Mr. Number One Niall Hind taking on the team of Tony Allen and the first mate of House of Pain, Mr. Riggs. As the match was coming to a close, Lexi Olivia came out to ringside and sprayed hairspray into Tony's eyes. This allowed Niall Hind to hit a white noise on Tony, picking up the win for the team. It was a triple threat match next to determine the number one contender to the House of Pain Women's Championship. It was Spectra taking on Lights Out Lexi Morgan and the Beastess Dolly Dharma. Towards the end of the match, Spectra managed to hit her Hex Factor onto Dolly and as she was going for the pin, Lexi Morgan snuck in from behind with a crucifix pin onto Spectra, picking up the win and earning herself a shot at the Women's Championship. Oscar Prospero came to the ring next and ran down one half of the House of Pain Tag Team Champions, TJ Dean, saying that he is just relying on Zack to do all the hard work. And the only reason TJ is a champion is because of Zack. I have to say that I do agree with Oscar here and seeing as I beat TJ in Hucknall, I'm still waiting for House of Pain management to confirm that me and a partner of my choosing will receive a shot at the House of Pain Tag Team Championships, which I earned. Oscar Prospero was in action as he was teaming up with DJ Sketch to take on the team of Nate Ajax and the gladiator Shay Attilus. As the match was coming to a close, Nate was going for a top rope drop kick, but Oscar managed to avoid him, and then he hit a headlock driver onto Nate, picking up the win. It was a triple threat match to name the number one contender to the House of Pain Full Throttle Championship next, as it was Mike Angelo taking on Kobe Woods, taking on myself. During the match, I was in firm control when I hit the like and subscribe onto Kobe Woods, but I noticed Mike getting up in the corner, so I swung at him, but Mike pulled my hair, dragged me out of the ring, dumped me on the floor, and then hit a top rope splash onto Kobe to pick up the win and earn himself a shot at Ethan Griffin. Ethan was sat at ringside and Ethan and Mike had a face off after the match and Mike told him that he will be winning the full throttle title. After Mike left, some familiar music from my past suddenly hit as Rave Boy returned to House of Pain Wrestling for the first time 
in over four months since I took Rave Boy out. As Rave Boy charged to the ring, I, for Rave Boy's sake, left the ring because I do not want to re-injure Rave Boy and cost him another four months of his career. So I did Rave Boy a favour and just walked away. It was a six-man tag team match next as Team Textbook's Kyle Crimson teamed up with two newcomers, Josh Fenrir and Xander Scott to take on the team of Mikey McLovin, James McCummings and Joseph Starr. The match came down to Mikey McLovin hitting a stunner on Xander Scott, picking up the win for the team. It was singles action next as the massive Matlock took on the teenage Zach Davey and this was a pretty one-sided match but Zach put up one hell of a fight but Matlock proved too much for him and hit a South of Heaven chokeslam to pick up the win. As Matlock was leaving, he did notice Zack getting back to his feet, so he returned to the ring and hit him with a big boot. As he was leaving again, he saw Zack once again getting back to his feet, so Matlock returned to the ring and it looked like he was going to attack Zack again, but instead, in a sign of respect, raised Zack's hand. In the main event of the evening, it was a last man standing match between the Black Sheep's Rainer and his former tag team partner, the Stormbreaker, Marley Hayden. These two went to war with each other, hitting each other with chairs, baking trays and even had nunchucks in the ring at one point. Eventually the shepherd Johnny Sharp got involved in the match but Jaden Law came storming into the building attacking Johnny Sharp. Rayner went to spear Jaden but Jaden managed to avoid this and Rayner speared Johnny and Jaden hit a Rough Rider onto Rayner. This is when Styx entered the ring and told Jaden he is suspended and needs to leave the building. Johnny Sharp went for a Claymore on Jaden, but Jaden managed to get out of the way and the Claymore connected with Styx. Jaden then attacked Johnny again Again, and they fought into the backstage area. Rayner was then setting up to spear Marley through a table set up in the corner and as he backed up he backed into Styx. Rayner not happy that Styx was in the ring shoved him which did not go down well and Styx got into his face. This distracted Rayner long enough to allow Marley to recover. Marley then hit a spear of his own onto Rayner through the table and this was enough for Rayner to not be able to meet the referee's 10 count and the winner and the last man standing was Marley Hayden. After the show, Jaden Law tried to speak to Styx, but Styx was having none of it and said that he is sick of Jaden and the Black Sheep. And it was clear that Jaden doesn't care if he's injured and Styx doesn't anymore, seeing as he got claymored earlier in the night. So Styx told Jaden that he can finish this in Beeston on Saturday the 14th of August when it will be Jaden Law one-on-one -on -one with the Shepherd Johnny Sharp. 
Well, that is all I do have time for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time right here on the Dan Edwards Show.